When I finished researching and writing this book, What on Earth Evolved, about 100 species that had changed the world, I decided that it would be fun and interesting to try and rank them in order of impact. And I came up with a simple set of criteria that would help measure the difference that these creatures, these different species have made to the history of planet life and people. One of those measures was how long they had survived on the planet. Another was what impact they'd had on other living creatures. A third was to do with the impact they may have had on the biosphere, on the earth, the air and the land and the sea. And a final measure was what impact they've had on human history. And as I approached this challenge of scoring all these different species, 50 of which evolved in the wild, 50 of which have thrived in the presence of humanity, there was obviously always going to be a number one. And the number one species which emerged out of this exercise is here in this box. Now, I'm going to pour out what's in the box onto the plate and hopefully at least two of these amazing creatures will reveal themselves. Indeed, there we are. There is one and there is two. Right on the edge of the plate, wriggling away, is our beloved earthworm. Now, worms evolved in the sea hundreds of millions of years ago. They're segmented creatures, and in fact, the body design of a worm is the prototype, the beginning of the design of all other species of higher life, really, including humans. Their segmented bodies use the same pioneer the system that we have for our vertebra with our segmented backbones. They have three layers of skin that we have inside our bodies with a mouth at one end and an anus at the other. So these were evolutionary pioneers. And ever since, despite the fact that there had been five mass extinctions, and one of them wiped out 96% of life on Earth, not one of those episodes has even touched the earthworm. So robust are they at surviving. But not just that. They are constantly nourishing and ploughing up the soil to make them fit for new life. So these creatures, the humble earthworms, come at the very top of our list of 100 species that change the world. Even, I am told, if I were to splice and cut the worm into two pieces, it would still survive, with each end wriggling off in a different direction. However, I will leave the final word to Charles Darwin, whose last book in his magnum opus on evolution was all about his favourite species, the earthworm. I quote, The plough is one of the most ancient and most valuable of man's inventions. But long before he existed, the land was in fact regularly ploughed and still continues to be thus ploughed by earthworms. It may be doubted whether there are many other animals which have played so important a part in the history of the world as have these lowly organised creatures. <laughs>